Good evening and thank you for joining us for our Maundy Thursday service, either on Zoom or on YouTube. Um, our service will look uh, a lot like our Monday and Tuesday services this week, um, but we will have some additional music tonight. Um, and as a reminder, tomorrow will not be on Zoom. Tomorrow will be on Facebook and YouTube. So check the good news for that information, but Facebook and YouTube for Good Friday um, and Easter Sunday. Blessed be the God of our salvation who bears our burdens and forgives our sins. Almighty Father, whose dear Son, on the night before he suffered, instituted the sacrament of his body and blood, mercifully grant that we may receive it thankfully in remembrance of Jesus Christ our Lord, who in these holy mysteries gives us a pledge of eternal life, and who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 During the readings of the lessons, please be aware of a word, phrase, or image that grabs your attention. Please consider adding them in the comments. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, this month shall mark for you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year for you. Tell the whole congregation of Israel that on the 10th of this month, they are to take a lamb for each family, a lamb for each household. If a household is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join its closest neighbor in obtaining one. The lamb shall be divided in proportion to the number of people who eat of it. This is how you shall eat it. Your loins girded, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it hurriedly. It is the Passover of the Lord. For I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will strike down every firstborn in the land of Egypt, both human beings and animals. On all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgments. I am the Lord. The blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you live. When I see the blood, I will pass over you, and no plague shall destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. This day shall be a day of remembrance for you. You shall celebrate it as a festival to the Lord. Throughout your generations, you shall observe it as a perpetual ordinance. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. God. to God. Thanks be to God. And now we will have some music.
the Holy Gospel of our Savior Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord, to you Christ. Lord Christ. Now, before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, you do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, <clears throat> one who has bathed does not need to wash except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you, for he knew who was to betray him. And for this reason, he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, had put on his robe and had returned to the table, he said to them, do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly I tell you, Servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. Jesus said, now the son of man has been glorified and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me. And as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. The Gospel of our Savior. Praise, Praise, Praise to, Lord, to you, Lord Christ. Lord Christ. Lord Christ. One moment as I get set up. Just as I have loved you, you should also love one another. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be pleasing to you, O God. Amen.
Let's talk about feet. Did you know that with 52 bones composing the feet and ankles, they take up about a quarter of our skeletal structure? Or that with about 8,000 nerves in your feet, they're one of the most sensitive parts of your body, which is why we all cringe at the thought of stepping on a Lego. I don't know about you, but I have traditionally gotten a pedicure at the beginning of Holy Week because I need my feet to look good if someone's going to be touching them. Is anyone else guilty of this? I cannot be the only person here. No, okay. All right, I got a hand. I'll take it. I'll take it. There's, there's something very intimate about someone seeing your feet and the touching your feet. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not that feet are particularly unusual. So what makes them so vulnerable? <sighs> if I can't have someone I go to church with touch my feet without professional cleaning and beautification first, what would I feel the need to do before I let Jesus wash my feet? What would Jesus learn about me from my feet? Where have our feet been in the last 12 months? I know for most of us, our feet have spent a lot of time at home or walking around our neighborhoods. Maybe Jesus can sense how much more time our feet have spent around our family members and neighbors' feet. Perhaps your feet have been at a march or a vigil in the last year, whether it was in support of LGBTQ plus community members or against violence toward Black, Indigenous, Asian American, and other minority communities of color, or in standing up for our unhoused neighbors who take shelter in public places. I wonder if Jesus can sense that my own feet have spent more time pacing this year. As I listen to news reports about increases in COVID death rates and polarizing politics, I bet more than anything, Jesus would be able to tell that my feet have seen more rest this year. My feet have spent less time pressing the pedals of my car and less time running literally from event to event. Maybe that's why Jesus chose feet. He could have washed the hands or faces of his friends, but he chose their feet. Our feet, which are closest to the ground, our feet, which are sometimes neglected by us when we take care of the rest of our bodies. Our feet, which can feel so vulnerable. It was an act of servanthood and love. So much so that it's something that the church has been physically reenacting for centuries. Many churches even practice the washing of feet at baptisms and ordinations. It reminds us of the intimacy of Jesus's love for his friends as he headed toward death. And if for any reason you're worried about what Jesus would think of you or your feet, just know that even Judas who had already put it in his heart to betray his friend, had his feet washed by the one who loves all of us. So since we can't wash each other's feet tonight, I would like to propose we do something else to share a symbol of hope. Maybe it's something new to your life in the last year Maybe it's something that has given you hope for your whole life. 
or it may even be something that reminds you of your St. Mark's community. So during our music offering tonight, and I will let you know when that happens again, um, instead of sharing a video with the, the lyrics or um, lovely images, I invite you to hold up your symbol of hope that you've brought with you so that you can see it in your camera. Um, and then we can all look at these symbols of hope that we have and share them with one another. May it remind us to always seek out the hope of resurrection and to know and to love each other and to take good care of your feet. In Christ's name, amen. In peace, we pray to you, Lord God. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the Church may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. That there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will and all that we undertake. That our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. That they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. 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 Let me double check with the bulletin. Yes, so this is where we will be uh, hearing an offering from our choir. So um, I will play that and during the music I invite you to hold up your symbols of hope. Thank you. 
And now, Father, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 We have one more hymn this evening.
Almighty God, we pray you graciously to behold this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and given into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 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 Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thanks be to God.